if you have trouble expressing any emotion, it's because generally of judgment. You are judging. You are judging the emotion. So then, uh, what I do is I long to God to show me what my judgment is, like what what my judgment is about this emotion. And I sit down, and this is where you can use your mind quite well. Is you can sit down and write down all of the things you judge about this emotion. You know, what do you feel about grief? It's powerless. It's weak. It's you know, and you just write down all of those things that you feel about grief. And they are your judgments about grief, and that is what's preventing you from feeling the grief. So what we need to do then is feel the judgments, and many times they will have causes. And those causes will be in a childhood, I was three years old, and I started crying, and I got a slap across the face, you cry again, and I'm going to belt you again. Right? So there's a judgment that now enters me as a belief that I need to release before I'll be able to release the grief. What would, what if it's anger though? Like I've heard mothers say, well, you've got to get angry in the relationship. You've got to hit a pillow, or you've got to hit a physical form. Um, I've always remember. I've always said there's two types of anger. There's a type of anger which is a childhood type of anger, which is to do with childhood suppression of childhood other emotions. <coughs> or there's an adult anger. An adult anger is where you get into resentment and and rageful type feelings and want to hurt others. Right? A child in its own anger generally doesn't want to hurt others. If it does want to, it's in denial. It's in denial of its own emotion. So the key is to get into the emotion where you're allowed to be angry, but when you desire to hurt others with your anger, you are now in denial of a deeper emotion within yourself. And you're allowed to feel that anger, to go and feel that anger in a place that doesn't hurt anybody else. Choose to do that. Because if you choose to do the opposite, you're going to actually have more to deal with later, yes. not less. Yes. We'll talk about why in a minute. Yeah. Thank you. Does that make sense? Hey, Dad, I was just wondering um, what you thought about the therapies that, um, um, you know, they say go out and use that baseball bat on a tree or whatever yep. um, to release anger. Because um, I've heard so many different thoughts on that, mm -hmm. but it's... Good to do it. Some sort of, I don't know. Other things that I've read say it's okay to feel it, but you're sort of leaving some sort of imprint, like you know. Yeah. Now this violence. is how, how many of you have heard that particular statement? Like every time you re-experience anger, you're imprinting upon yourselves like the anger, and so you're just going to re like this is a common this is a common new age type of belief. And again, my statement about anger is. If it's a childhood style of anger, or for any, any type of anger really, if you're feeling angry, the instant you dump it on somebody else, you are now damaging them and yourself even more. So choose a method to experience your anger that's safe and not harming other people. As soon as you actually choose to experience your anger, and you will need to experience it fully to get below it. Right? So allow that. But remember that this adult anger that most of us get into at some point is not the choice to experience what's underneath. It's actually the opposite. It's the choice to feel powerful and to blame others going on. And that is very harmful to yourself and others. So you need to know the difference between the two types of anger you're experiencing, basically. I have problems um, experiencing any anger. Um, I have a lot of grief. So, so you have anger, anger is there, and then grief is there, underneath anger generally, right? And you're having problem experiencing anger? I don't really have... Do you get to I the grief? Heaps of grief. All right. If you get into the grief, then you're not... You, you, there's probably little you need to do with anger work if you're getting to the grief. So I just went to a workshop and I felt like... I must be missing because I, you know, think other people were going out and like, you know. Well, that's because most people have all this grief and they can't connect to it, and they shut they shut it down and suppress it with anger and blame, mm -hmm. and so they do have to go and connect to their anger yeah. to get below it. Yeah. What what I was kind of I don't know just wondering about is if if they're in their mind thinking that they are actually hurting, like you know they're using the baseball bat on a tree, but they're actually thinking that's a 
take this mama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take this. yeah. Isn't, that, isn't that still like the intent is? Like, uh, that's yeah. a better place than suppressing it. Remember, um, I said this last weekend actually, that if you suppress any emotion, you are actually projecting that emotion to its maximum power to the universe. Mm -hmm. The instant you begin to own the emotion, whatever form that takes, mm -hmm. you, are now, you are now projecting that emotion less to the universe. Mm -hmm. And often it is a scale between lesser, 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 until you get to the point where you're actually owning the causal emotion, and then you're not projecting anything to the universe you are now actually just feeling the emotion and releasing it, which is great. That's really why you need to be in the air. But it does take time to get from one to the other states. Hey, 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 just on that, really what you're saying is some of the psychiatrists, right, have anger release sessions with yep. their clients, right? Yep. And, and I've heard of some of them spent the whole hour in there, bang, 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 they come out, run into their car, somebody cuts them on, they're off again. Really, they're not going down the cause. No. Yeah. No, they're using their anger as a powerful tool yeah. to avoid their yeah. deeper emotional issues. Okay. Yeah. And and you this is a very dangerous thing to do. Mm -hmm. Is to use anger as a tool to deny deeper emotions. Because that must bring in the law of attraction back on the anger. Totally. Yeah. Totally. And that in that case you are very much harming yourself even further yeah. and harming the people that you've just projected the anger to. Yeah.